At the clinic, Henry, a Great Dane puppy, is in quarantine. Saturday night, he started not feeling too well and had diarrhea ever since and thrown up a couple times. Breaks my heart. I actually took the day off of work to be home with him. I'm concerned that potentially he's got parvovirus. It's contagious. We've asked Alex to leave Henry out in the parking lot. Better safe than sorry for other patients that may come into the clinic. Dr. Brando waits till the clinic is clear. Anderson's? Yeah. Should you bring your puppy in, please? To make sure it's safe. Parvovirus infects the small intestinal lining, which means there's less nutrients picked up, and the puppy's sort of starving as things go because he's not able to absorb. Has he had any of his vaccinations? Uh, yeah, he was here a week ago. OK. Henry's been vaccinated against Parvo. Poor guy. But hasn't had time to build antibodies. He's still at risk. I would like to run a Parvo test, even though he's had some of his vaccinations. So it's going to take probably about 10 minutes altogether. Okay. And I'll come back and talk to you. OK. Thank you. Yep. The Parvo virus is everywhere in the environment. It's very hardy, which means it'll live a long time through sun and snow and freezing cold. Certainly with a young pup, it can be quite dangerous. You're making me nervous. <laughs> so we're looking at the Parvo test, which is negative. We have one dot that says the test worked properly and no other dots, which is good. One dot is good. OK, Henry's Parvo test has come back negative, which is great news. Because the problems he's facing are mostly diarrhea issues, we're going to do a gram stain of the feces and look at the bacteria content there. A bacterial infection could have the same symptoms as the parvovirus, but it's easier to treat. I'm finding some rod-shaped bacteria. That particular bacteria can grow more rapidly if he's gotten into something he wasn't supposed to. The bacteria making Henry sick probably came from something he ate. OK, so we've done the parvo test, and that's okay. negative. Okay. Awesome. I don't think he's contagious to anybody else. He's sick right now, but he's okay. getting better, and we're going to help him get better a little okay. bit faster. I'm very happy Henry's going to be OK, and it wasn't nothing serious, and it's nothing that's contagious. So there's two things we're going to do with him. One is an antibiotic. We're going to put him on some antibiotics to help with the diarrhea. And you can roll. And we're going to put him on a probiotic supplement also to help put good bacteria back in his gut. OK. Oh, I know. Gross, huh? OK, there you go. And I expect within a day or two, the diarrhea will be over, and his attitude will return to normal. And then here's a little treat, so we'll see if you eat this. Shake. Oh, very good. Henry's off from quarantine because he's parvo negative. Uh, he still needs to rest and recover from his illness, but he should be good to go. Hopefully in a few days, he'll be back to his playful self. 